Hi everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to um, embroider on your Brother SE425 beautiful um, large letters. That I'm going to show you how to digitalize in the Sew Art program and transfer over to your machine. Alright, so let's get started. First you need to have, um, let's see, first you need to have PowerPoint. So let's open up a new PowerPoint. Go like this, and then we'll have a new slide. Okay. So here's my PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to insert some text. And I'm making a sweater for my friend, so I'm going to um, write the letters LU in one text box. So the first thing I need to 
do with sew art is since this is only a two color, which really only is a one color because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stitch the white, I'm only gonna stitch the black, but it still needs to consider it as a two color. So I'm gonna go to tools right here and I'm gonna reduce the colors because right now it sees it at sixty four colors, all kinds of shades of gray or whatever else is in there. So I'm gonna make this a two. Okay, you're not gonna see much difference on the screen, it's just more bold. Okay, so I did that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize the image. And now I know that the my embroidery machine, which is a Brother SE425, the window frame on it that I have to stitch in is 4 inches by 4 inches. So I like to make it just a little bit smaller, only because sometimes if it's right at 4, it doesn't, the, the machine won't accept it. Okay, so the width I'm going to make 3.9. And this just happens to be about a square. If you have an image that is um, like a whole word, you might have to stretch it some. If you're work, you just have to maneuver and just undo the lock aspect ratio right here to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna make this be 3.90. Actually, I'm gonna make both of these 3.90 and I'm not unlock the aspect ratio right here because it looks like when I put 3.90 it went past the 4 inches right there. So I'm going to make both of them 3.90. Now in order to do that you have to unlock the aspect ratio or else it's just going to make it so that it still is the same image, just bigger. This way if you watch real fast it's going to, um, it made it, it made it taller and not so much wider. I mean it made it wider not so much taller. Okay, so right now it's going to fit into my digitalizing software. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I mean it's going to fit into my, sorry, my embroidery machine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tools up here, and I'm going to convert this to stitches. Okay, so what I'm going to do is it gives me a little wand instead of a pointer now. And because this is connected right here, Actually, let me go back just a little bit. Hold on. Because this is connected, when I click on this to convert it to stitches, it's going to take the K and the E together, but I want them separate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this eraser right here, and I'm just going to put a little white line right here so that way it separates the two. There. So that's going to be two separate colors. Okay, I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go back up to tools and go to the convert the stitches. And I am going to take my little wand and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this letter right here. So it converted this. And then I'm going to do this letter right here. That way, and even though it says both of them are black, I'm going to stop the embroidery machine after the K and change my my bobbin and my thread to a different color. You can actually just put the different colors in there on PowerPoint, but I just find it easier just to do it like this and just to watch it, because I kind of have to watch my embroidery machine just to make sure it doesn't mess up as it's, as it's embroidering anyways. So I just stop it between the letters, okay? But just so that it has a break in between or else it would have just embroidered all the way through it. Okay, so now I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to save the embroidery file. It's asking me. I'm going to save it as um, 234KE. And you can name it anything you want, obviously. And then I'm going to hit save. And now it's going to ask me if I want it to save the Brother PES file, the embroidery file, which is one of the files that you have to have in order to trans transmit it over to um, the embroidery machine. So I'm going to hit yes. And it's going to show me this little box right here that it, it, it stitched it. So it tells me that it was successfully saved. So now this file is ready for the embroidery machine. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to my file folders. And I'm going to search for that file, which is 234. Okay, so... Here are the four folders that my computer saved. I only need this one 
and this one to transfer over. Now you're going to need to plug in your embroidery machine into your computer with a computer cable. And you're going to right click on the files. Sorry, you're going to right click on the files. And you're going to send them over to the USB drive F, which is on my computer. It may be E on yours. It, it all varies by computer what drive your, your USB cord is, is hooked up to the embroidery machine. Okay, so I'm going to right click. And I'm going to send it to USB drive F. And it'll show on the screen of the computer, I mean, of the inverter machine, it'll say it's transmitting the USB file. And that's all you have to do to, to, um, to transfer and digitalize your letters, however you'd like them, onto your embroidery machine. Now, in my next video, I'll show you the screen of the embroidery machine and what you do with that in order for it to embroider. Okay, so again, I'm going to show you... Um, fast at the ending. This is what we are gonna, we're achieving right here. We're achieving these letters right here, this K and this E, on our brother, um, and my our brother SE 425 embroidery machine right there. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Please watch the next video and like this video if you like uh, what I just showed you. Thank you.